Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Stasma here. Today we are going to talk about the Sawtooth Stack by Verbos Electronics. It's a Eurorack module, but right now uh, it's housed in the small 42 HP black box case. It's a one of a kind for them. It's a MIDI capable full synth voice that can still be a module and you can use all the different sections however you want in a patch. But this is semi modular design as some of the modules are already interconnected. It's a very good sounding and very weird take on some classic Bukla-ish ideas. We are going to check it out today. Okay, so let's check out the interface of the Sawtooth stack. The main ingredient is the oscillator section. It's the sound generating part of it. It is based out of the small footprint uh, analog oscillator from Verbos that I forget the name of, but I will show it on screen right now. It is actually five of them. So let me turn up the volume. So we have a frequency control. Fine tune. CV input for control voltages mostly and FM input for audio frequency modulation. Volt per octave to control it from any other Eurorack equipment. Here we have the MIDI input, it's connected to the key step via MIDI, no patch cable needed. So this will control automatically the pitch of the oscillator, you can auto tune it here. And then we have a wave shaping section. The main parameter of this, as on every Bukla inspired type of uh, design is the timber that is going to change between sine wave at the bottom and saw wave at the top very much like the 258 The MIDI implementation is much deeper than on other Eurorack type of modules that I've seen so far. So for example, if you have nothing plugged in here, it is the velocity, the MIDI velocity, that is going to control that. Then we have the richness control. This is a sort of art sync simulation.
I found that it sounds awesome when you sweep it very slowly like this. Fast movements aren't my thing. One of the cool things is that you don't hear the effect of this at all when you're on the sine wave part of the timber fader. Then we have the spread control, which will gradually detune all the five oscillators and also spread them across the stereo field. As you might have noticed since the start, the sound is slowly moving from left to right, just a tiny bit. But the spread control does at the same time detuning and stereo spread. So you can go from subtle detuning <laughs> subtle to swarmy sounds to make some crazy atonal stuff like this. Let's take a look at the controls. We have two envelope generators that are triggered by MIDI. They all have a gate input and a manual trigger input and a manual gate, sorry. Both are same as the polyphonic envelope, so rise, old, fall. By default, envelope 2 is routed to control the amplitude section. So either you're droning or you put it at minimum and then, which certainly make it much more usable. Envelope 1 is controlling richness. The first half is very precise in the snappy range. And from there, you get to not a lot too super long. But of course, as it's semi modular, you can repatch whatever you want. So I could control the spread, for example. directly the pitch. You can set these guys to loop by patching the end out. That is basically a gate at the end of the envelope. If you plug it to gate, then fire it up, you have an LFO. can control the fall of each of these. So it's really good at making all these kind of techno chords or derby chords. Or just massive drones. You'll 
pair very well with any kind of delay and reverb. I have the maxi wellspring over here. Oh yeah. I really like the big detune thing like this. Makes some awesome re-space. I tend to prefer to set the richness to whatever point I like and control the timber. As you might see on the panel, there is a number written around each attenuator and it's the MIDI CC number that corresponds to that control. Spread, for example, is one, and one, most of the time, is the mod wheel. quite touchy but it's fun and also depending on which controller you use you might be able to use it with pressure or something like this one other fun little thing so if i press here i can go from zero to max spread but if you put spread at max and use the MIDI CC, you can go even further. I really like the fact that it has a, an output volume control, which means that you can tame it to go straight out to pedals or any other type of outboard gear without having to use an output module of some kind. Let's do a very weird generative mayhem thing.
can do some awesome amplitude modulation things by running the two envelopes at audio right in loop. Many thanks to you for watching. I will make a sample pack out of this, as always, for my Patreon subscribers. You should go check it out if you want. You can also buy some stuff from the affiliate links in the description if you want to support the channel by buying gear. And you can also, of course, buy or just download for free some music on either my own Bandcamp, Astasma, or on my label Bandcamp, Concrete Collage, where we release some friend of mine and some music that I like with my friend Omverk. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.